happy being single. The thing is, too, what I have learned is that, you know, dealing with relationships, although I have not been married, is that you actually start to learn about yourself while you're going through that process, while you're waiting on whatever it is. And, and during that time, I've been learning about myself, and you start to grow within yourself, and you have to, like my mother always said, you have to love yourself first anyway before you think you're going to get with anybody. You can't expect no man to love you. Now, I mean, not saying that it's, it's apparent yet, it does, it does get hard, but the thing is, too, I mean, I have to say, I'm, from my experience, I have been enjoying, enjoying a single life because I have been doing me. I'm going to school, I'm working, I'm taking care of a home, I'm out there doing mine and, and, and everything, and I'm proud of that, and I know that when I guess that when God do bless me with a man, if, you know, if you, because I know sometimes I'm wondering, is it okay to be single as well, but when he do, I know that I'm going to have somebody good and who's going to be up to my skin. Standards, not no more taking, you know, all, all that extra that I was taking before. And I'm found with being single and not have to worry about being cheated on it and this and that and just waiting until I got me a good godly man, you know, in that perspective. And not trying to act like I'm up here and act like I'm, you know, saying or anything like that, but I do understand now the difference between the godly man and the man who's just out here in the world. So Amen. I mean, you have your moments, especially having three kids by yourself. You know, I mean, you do have them times, you know, but I actually kind of love that. Okay, it's me outside going the line. You know, not, you know, I mean, I'm not to wait on the guy to mow my line. I can get out there. You know, I'm going up and down and maybe going zigzag. I'm still out there doing it, you know, so. <laughs> That's good. Look at that. The thing of it is, is as single women or single men, we have to recognize that there's a void in us. And that void can only be filled by God. And while we're waiting on God, we have to wait on God. But everything they've said, I'm in agreement with. And there's a lady in the church. There are so many women in this church who are willing to help if they see a need. And you don't even have to ask. But a, a very good friend of mine in this church gave me this book called Lady in Waiting. And if you are single, at the end of service, if you want to write this down and maybe order it, and there are some very good principles in here, and different women in the Bible that I use to help me with my strategies while I am waiting on God. Amen. 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 Um, I'm going to hear this next question um, to Brother Jerry Waffle. Um, being that you've been married twice, been divorced twice, you have five children. How do you approach moving forward and getting into a new relationship when there are so many other things that are you have to bring to the table to let someone be with it? Can you find somebody that can handle your situation?